I was 10 years old and had to walk over my mother's legs to get out of the house. Not only did he kill her that day, but something died in me that day too. My whole childhood died that day. Things couldn't have happened the way that he said. Over 30 years, uh, Charles Anderson has given numerous versions of the events of that evening. Uh, those versions were inconsistent with each other as well as inconsistent with the forensic evidence that was gathered at that time. I did confront him. I told him what I thought of him. I called him a murderer to his face. There was a lot of fighting that night, and I fell asleep when it got quiet. I had to walk over her legs to get out of the house. And I remember not wanting to leave her lying there on the floor. Just based on trajectories alone, it was physically impossible for any of it to take place the way that he had explained any number of different ways that he explained. She was lost, I think. Um, so I think there was an element of being lost and detached from basic motherhood and, and family life and that kind of thing. She was tough towards the end, and I think that's just because it was a protective thing at this point. It's affected my life, my whole life. It will never end completely, but it'd be nice to put a little bow on it.